Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We have three boxes to open today. Uh, we are going to open a bougie box, a beauty box, and a tamed wild, which I think could be a good, like the nicest way to describe my look right now, my hair especially. So, uh, sorry about that, but uh, I kind of like my makeup though today. Hi, Annie. I tried to switch it up, so I went with a theme. But I'll talk about that more on the other channel. I have to remember, we're straight to the box here. So we're opening up the Curator Welcome Box, Tamed Wild, which is like a spiritual like goddess box, and then Look Fantastic, their limited edition hero box. So how about we start off with Look Fantastic. Emmy is rubbing up against the tripod. I apologize if you feel that right now, or feel that. I don't think you can feel it if you can. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but if you could see the camera shake, that is what is going on. We got a cute little cat. Hi. So I will leave the links to everything down below along with timestamps and any like pricing and promo codes uh, will be there as well. So this is the Hero Edition box. I'm not sure what's in here at all, but bright pink. Look fantastic. Is a monthly beauty subscription too. So. I believe it's $16 a month. I'll leave the link for the monthly subscription, my most recent unboxing, if you want to check that out. But this one is limited edition. Hopefully it's not sold out yet. I'll... It says, all the best heroes are ordinary people who do extraordinary things. That's so sweet. I agree, that's so true. Mm, yeah here and everything is wrapped up very nice. Like something smells so good. Wow, this is jam-packed stuff. Okay, so this is all hair products, right? I was wondering that because I thought it was all hair products, but then it said hero. I'm like, maybe I misremembering. So this is their limited edition hero box that includes all hair products. And the first thing I see is a brush and I've tried something from this brand before I'm really happy to get another one and it's pink goes with the box color this is by Tangle Teaser so it's a detangling brush and I think these work really well and let's see we have a mix of full size and deluxe size I spy my favorite <laughs> Christoph Robin this is their cleansifying purifying scrub with sea salt like I really had to look at the name while I read it. Uh, I love this stuff. My number one recommended scalp scrub. I'm currently using their volumizing paste, uh, which I like, but I like the scalp scrub. This the best. Um, I want to try more of their products. So if you guys tried it, and if so, do you like it? Ooh, do I see Olaplex here? Is this the thing I tried before? I had a sample, and it, I think this is it. The number three hair perfector. Is this the one that you do before you shampoo? Yes, I started to use it and I think it helped, but it was a sample like this, but smaller. And this is like raved about in like beauty too, <laughs> at least it used to be. So I am really excited to keep using this because I think it works. You like leave it in your hair before shampoo for like 20 minutes. So I like to do this if I'm shaving my legs or something, like one, you know, in the blue moon. <laughs> Not every week. So you leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes. So it's supposed to help strengthen and repair your hair which my hair definitely needs. And next we have something by Caviar. This is their anti-aging restricting bond repair conditioner. I'm kind of far from the camera so you guys could like see what I'm doing, testing something out. So sorry if I don't have close-ups of all of the hair products, <laughs> products that we're opening today. So, so far loving it. We still five items to go. What is this? I like the colors. This is full size for sure. This is by Scene uh, and it says won't clog pores. I guess you have pores on your head like <laughs> skin caring blowout cream. Smooth hair shouldn't mean stressed skin. I don't use too many hair products but I remember I've got like actually around my neck before like I from spraying like maybe dry shampoo or hairspray. I did get some irritation. I forgot about it. Nice. Philip B. Peppermint Avocado Shampoo. I'm so hungry whenever I hear the word avocado. <laughs> I need guacamole and some of that. Or 
anything with avocado, honestly. Uh, scalp Invigorating Volumizing Shampoo. And these vitamins. Made by Hush Hush, the secret is science. Deeply rooted, hyper-concentrated nutraceutical for hair health. Four capsules dietary supplement. Creates a healthy scalp, increases shine, and adds volume and density. Yes, I need this. My hair has been falling out a lot, too. I know I'm just needing to improve my health overall, and I'm trying. So I'm excited to have that be part of my new arsenal of vitamins. And the last thing I believe you. The last thing. I think this is full size, too. This is by Imbue Kinks Curls and Coils Curl Energizing Hydration Serum. Nice. That's good that they have this in here. I don't have curly hair, obviously. Well, I mean, you can't really see my hair, but I don't have coily hair. But I feel like a lot of the items in subscription boxes target more like straight or wavy hair. So I think that's great that they included this. And it's for, oh, I thought it was the number, like for the curl type. But it looks like it, all two through five. Is that how you say it? Because I saw four finish right here. But I think that's the hold. Um, I'm not well versed on that, but I think that's really awesome. They included this. So that was everything that came in our hair box. We got two full-size products, uh, three, because the brush, three full-size products, a uh, sample of vitamins, my favorite scalp, scalp scrub. Sorry, can't talk. Uh, this is $19 too, the sample size. So got a lot of bang your buck, old bucks. Uh, I'm happy with this. So I would love to know your thoughts down below. Let's move on to... Tamed Wild. I'm really excited. So this is the June box. And I think the last box, these are all older. I'm behind on boxes. Uh, so this is the June box though. But Tamed Wild does ship at the end of the month. Uh, so if you order now, you won't be getting this box. You'll be getting the July box. But I think their packaging is beautiful. So there's a theme each month. I'm not sure what it is for June, the June box. Oh, I think it has to do with, like, as a Zeus, I don't know, um, Book of the Gods. So it has to do with connecting with, like, masculine god energy or something like that. We will see. But it's really cool. So you get to learn. They, like, give educational materials. I always sound like a dork when I talk about stuff like this because, like, I'm, I'm a dork. <laughs> I love learning more. Like, I took course at 1 30 a.m. last night for YouTube and I in another course for something else I'm like just I don't know one of those types of people but when I get products even beauty products I like to learn more about them is my point so looks like we have some information here about the guys we'll see soon and then they always give you some information and it has to do well the last box was my first box so um, I'm not sure if this is every time but last box it focused on Artemis so we got some information on these cards about uh, the goddess Artemis, and then we got information on the products inside on here as well. And they're super cute. So pretty much what this box is all about is getting spiritual tools or tools to help enhance your spiritual practice. I think is how you would say that. So you don't have to follow any specific thing. Um, I see it. something here I'm really excited about. <laughs> it's a sneak peek. Yeah. Wow, go brain. Okay, I, if you guys are new here, by the way, hi, my name is Kitty. I love subscription boxes so much. I've been opening them for three years now on our channel. Uh, and I recently started another channel to talk about everything besides unboxing. So um, if you like subscription boxes and you also like chatter and spiritual stuff like this, uh, please subscribe to both channels or just one or the other or neither or whatever you desire. But um, I was going to say I'm a little... I haven't been posting a lot lately because life's been a little tough. I lost my cat recently, and it, that's why I'm, like, a lot of sorts. So I am a little weird and scattered always, but more so right now. <laughs> but back to the, uh, so, complimenting my brain. The theme is an invocation for honoring the masculine. Does it say for Lou? I don't know. Dearest Lou. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so it is Lou is a... God, I guess. A poet, a metalsmith, a guardian, an athlete, an alchemist, and a solar deity. Ooh. So I won't read all of this, because I know when I put that survey out way back, people said, I don't need to read straight from the cards. Got it. So in here it talks about him, though. Uh, and then it talks about ritual instructions. So it gives us items to perform a ritual. What ritual is it? Ooh, we're making a ceremonial elixir. 
We've chosen herbs to keep Lou in mind, like hibiscus to invoke passion and healing, and calendula to honor the sun and the dead. Every time we use this elixir, we will do so in your name. Give me some instructions. So, ritual tools. Book of the Gods. This is first. I love learning about the stuff on this. And it goes over everyone. Oh, this will be a good refresher. It's been a while. And now that I am studying the tarot, I like could use some more. Like, you know, it'd, it'd be helpful. Plus, I just am interested in it. <laughs> and it has all different types of gods, too, not just like Greek. Like, you can see, like, I think that's a Hindu god. I'm sorry if I'm wrong about anything. Again, this is an educational tool. Soon I shall know. Uh, but I think this is so awesome. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> So, refer to this booklet to read about 100 gods, deities, and masculine archetypes from around the world. Normally, I, I'm biased and favor goddesses, like, by far, but I need to embrace the masculine side sometimes to find balance in everything in my life. Uh, we got a stone. I have one of these already. I'm excited. It's a desert rose stone. I'm guessing it's in here. Maybe not. It doesn't feel like it. Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna say. Oh, it's bigger than the one I have. That's what he wishes. <laughs> um, so this I know has selenite in it. I might put on, that sounds weird when I say that right now. And that looks something else. We will see. But this, it seriously is shaped like a rose. Super pretty. Desert Rose is easy to recognize thanks to its sandpaper-like exterior and textured folds that mimic flower petals. It's so pretty. It amplifies inner knowing and increases confidence. Oh yeah, it does have selenite. Okay, so crystal experts suggest that each piece of gypsum crystal, which is a type of selenite, also houses a spirit of Hermes. Nice. I'm really excited. I want to read all of this out loud to you. I'm already talking too much. We're more than straight to the box today. I'm sorry. But now you get a little taste of what the other channel will be like when I post. <laughs> which I know I owe you guys a uh, giveaway, which I am hoping to film today or this week at least. But next up we have the elixir kit for our ritual. And this is dried herbs, a bottle, honey, and pipettes. So here is the pipette. And here is our honey stick. I love getting stuff like this. <laughs> I'm an alchemist and a pharmacist, <laughs> so I feel like <laughs> stuff like this. Well, I'm not, I mean, am I an alchemist? Did they go hang out? But I'm excited to have this bottle. <gasps> I love getting glass bottles. Always can use more. And the dried herbs we got. Oh, we got, we got rose petals last month for our ritual and I guess I already told you guys this, but this is hibiscus and calendula. I always love saying calendula. Organic herbs contains, okay, I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, it does not matter if you are a rose, a lotus, or a marigold. What matters is you are flowering. Nice. You can use it in love magic or even to diffuse negative energy when good. Find your space, tools, and yourself. And hibiscus is <laughs> and divination. Oh, it's so pretty. I love how they package everything. I love their whole aesthetic. They have a blog and stuff too. And I get emails from them when they have stories. Like it's they're really well written. I love it. Uh, and then what am I missing? Who is in here? Oh, Lou's shield amulet. Lou is the Celtic god of craftsmanship, poetry, and the arts. I wasn't sure. I was like Lou. Oh, I love it. It has the Celtic cross in there. Let me take out the plastic so I can show you. But we got um, something for Artemis, a bow and arrow last month. So you can use these, you can put them on a chain and wear them. I have the Artemis bow and arrow on my altar piece to honor her. But I would like to put it on a necklace, I just have been lazy. Oh, we, we actually got two of the honey sticks. Nice. The last time I had honey sticks like that, they had CBD in them, and I put it in tea, and it was really good. So that was everything. I wanted to just talk about it all so much, but 
I will say that uh, for those into this type of thing. Uh, but if you are into this type of thing, so far I've been really liking this. It's only my second box. But let's move on to our last box of the day. And this is the Curator, formerly known as Box of Style by Rachel Zoe. This is their welcome box. So they're a seasonal subscription and they're the bougie box because <laughs> it's bougie. Like everything in it though, I just have been loving, especially like the most recent season, the summer box. I'll link it down below if you missed it. Love it. Seriously, so much. Um, so I, I like Rachel's other style. It's expensive though, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. So it's $99 for the normal box. I'll put, I think the welcome box is the same. Um, so it's kind of like, it's fun if you're familiar, like in between seasons, you get a box that's different than the seasonal box, but you're still able to get a box right away. When you subscribe, you don't have to wait till the fall. So I think that's super cool. And I think the contents have changed. Like they ch switch it up. So it's exciting. Uh, Let's see what's in it. Well, we'll go this side now and open it. <laughs> Welcome to a life well curated. I'm being weird, but that's good. <laughs> so, got yeah, like a legit magazine here. A summer state of mind. Bougie queen. But not too bougie. She's a bohemian bougie. Bohuji, Bohuji. Did I say that already in the past? Bohuji, Boho, Bohuji. And like, even the aesthetics of this, everything is just. I think I've already read this. <laughs> so, well, we've got like a huge travel bag or something. You always get really good bags. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, so there's like a little clutch that can go inside the bag. Or use it on its own. That's cool. A huge duster bag. I don't think I've ever had a duster bag for a weekender bag. This is by... What does it say? Honey and leave. And love. Leave. I think it's leave, like Levi. Eyes. Oh, oh my god, you can. This is huge. Like, it's the last step. I think this is like awesome. Now I just need to make plans and leave and like use it, you know? Hit me up. Let's let's do something fun. Let's spice up our lives. I need to do that. Um, and this bag I can take with me traveling. And I don't know. You know, you can, it's not like the biggest bag in the world. Like you can tell. It's just like, so here's the strap. If you want, there's two huge open pockets and one huge zipped pocket in there. You can fit so much in here. As someone who used to travel and do things, I love the colors. Like, summer easily, like, can go right into fall and even winter. You can wear this all the time. So it's like, not white, it's like beige. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's like bougie, but not like in your face bougie. Like, not gaudy bougie, but bougie. <laughs> Let's see what is next. Ooh, looks like, I'm guessing, like, sunglasses or something. And our skincare item. What's this? Information. So, I have tried this before, and I think it is great, and I love that it's in the summer box, or in the summer welcome box too, like in between summer and fall, and you should be wearing sunscreen all year round anyways. But this is by Glow Skin Beauty, and this is their oil-free SPF 40 broad spectrum sunscreen. So they say this is for oily skin because it is oil-free. Like a lot of sunscreens can leave that like oily effect, and I know that's not desirable for a lot of uh, people, but I think it, as someone who's like normal skin, I used to be oily, uh, I think this works well, and it's a nice brand. I think this is pretty expensive. Well, of course, we're talking about the bougie box. So, oil-free, 
protects your skin and also hydrates and gives antioxidants to fortify the skin. And if you're curious about what sunscreen's in it, it has zinc oxide, so mineral sunscreen, um, that chemical it looks like actinoxate and octisalate. I don't know if I'm going to put that part in because are those two in them? Let's see what's in this navy case. I'm pretty sure it's sunglasses, but it has like this little packet here. Yes. Oh my god, there's a little pouch. I'm so intrigued. You're covered. Oh wow, your new favorite pair of sunglasses come with a six month warranty? Like even if you sit on it? Break my home. Well they're probably good quality that don't just snap when your big butt sits on it. Lee Specs, lover of all things summer since 1979. I'm so excited. Like I think, I've never seen a case like this. I love the ones that are like this, like squeeze. <gasps> And they're aviator style. Yeah. These are so cute. So there's tortoise shell on the sides. Neptune is the name of the style in bright gold. Neptune. I want to talk about my birth chart now. I just missed you guys. It's I missed you a lot. <gasps> oh, so, okay, let's get up and not flash. I like these. They're like aviators, but not like. They're like a little like less, like a hybrid. What do you think? Oh, that ring light's actually higher than the camera. I was too lazy to put it down, so you I'm not really blinding. Oh, no, okay, no. Sometimes I feel like glasses, like I have a big head, um, don't f like go far enough over. And that's what I thought right away, but it doesn't bother me enough with these. And they seem comfortable, like they're not squeezing my head either. I need to get out in the sun. Well... Thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to unbox for you because it really has made me feel better. Uh, I would love to hear how you're doing. I'm going to start to be better about answering emails and Instagram and like comments and everything. I'm so behind. Uh, but after a while of talking about Archer, I get a little, well, I mean, like for a second, I get sad. So I, I, that's why I have not been very active. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing well. I am planning on filming Wheel Wednesday tonight. Um, if all goes to plan, so I can catch up on some boxes. So that should be up tomorrow. And if it's not, let's just, you can just guess. I'm being a crybaby or something. But I think I'll be okay because this really made me feel good. So thank you again. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I'll see you super soon. Bye, guys. Love you.